Welcome back to DIY My Way. Today I want to tackle a project I've been meaning to tackle for quite a while, and that is to change these bulbs out for LED bulbs in my hazard lights and my brake lights. There are mainly two reasons why you might want to change your incandescent bulbs to LEDs, and that is to reduce the power consumption on your electrical system, but more importantly, to make the lights a lot brighter for the amount of power that they take. The top hazard and blinker lights are type 1156, which is a very common automotive bulb. The LED replacement bulbs I chose are made by Alopi and sold as a pack of two. Some of the specs are a 12 to 24 volt operating range, a brightness of 700 lumens, they use 3 watts of power, and they have a beam angle of 360 degrees. Also they are 2 inches tall, so I know they'll fit in the space. They're available from Amazon for $15.89. There's a link to them in the video description. It so happens the rear hazard light bulbs are also type 1156, so I bought another set of the Alopi bulbs for those. The rear tail lights are type 1157, which are dual filament allowing for dim and bright modes. The bright mode being for braking. However, my tractor doesn't make use of the dual brightness and instead has them bright all the time. The LED bulbs I chose for these are made by iBrightStar. They're also sold as a two-pack. They have a barrel design with LEDs all the way around and LEDs in the front focused through a lens. Some of the specs include dual brightness, a 9 to 30 volt operating voltage. They use 3.8 watts on high brightness. Their color is xenon white or 6500K. They can last up to 30,000 hours. And they are water resistant with an IP65 rating. They're sold on Amazon for $15.99 and there's a link to them in the video description. So the total project cost includes two sets of the Alopi bulbs for $31.78 and one set of the iBright Star bulbs for $15.99, bringing the total project cost to $47.77. The only tools you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a magnetic tray is handy to hold the screws. We'll start with the top hazard light. Simply remove the three screws that secure the lens, then remove the lens. We interrupt this program to bring you this special subliminal message. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. As I mentioned, these lights will use the Alopi bulbs. Each bulb is protected by a small box. See, they look just like the picture, only blurrier. Remove the old bulb by pressing down and twisting the counterclockwise about 30 degrees. Then lift it out. You can see the bulbs are roughly the same size. Line up the tabs and press the LED bulb into the socket and then twist clockwise about 30 degrees. Then snap the lens back on but leave the screws out for testing. With most of the shop lights off, I test and compare the new LED bulb on the left to the incandescent bulb on the right. Let's freeze the video here. There isn't a lot of difference in the brightness between these two bulbs, but you can see that the LED bulb is more yellow than the amber glow of the incandescent bulb. The LED bulb consumes 3 watts of power compared to the 21 watts of the incandescent bulb. That's 7 times less power. Also notice that the LED flashes sharply on and off, whereas the incandescent bulb fades out. I think the sharp on and off is a bit more attention getting. If we freeze the video here, you can see the incandescent bulb is still cooling down while the LED is fully off. Next, I'll change the left rear hazard and blinker light, again leaving the right side bulb incandescent for comparison. A simple quarter turn counterclockwise releases the bulb and socket from the fixture. Again, push the bulb in and turn counterclockwise to remove the bulb. In goes the LED bulb. And back goes the socket.
Here's the comparison test with the top hazard light bulbs removed so we're just seeing the rear hazard lights. The LED bulb is obviously a lot brighter. And again we have 3 watts versus 21 watts, or 7 times less power. Now for the red tail lights. The socket is removed in the same way as is the bulb. However, because these bulbs are dual brightness and have three electrical connections, they have offset tabs so the bulb can only go in one way. So if it won't go in and turn, remove it, turn it 180 degrees and try again. So let's compare. With the ignition key on, I turn on the headlights and taillights. Once again, the LED is noticeably brighter. The LED bulb uses 3.8 watts compared to the 30 watts the incandescent uses with both filaments burning, which is 7.9 times less power. Pretty impressive in my opinion. As a final comparison, let's look at it with all the taillights on. The left side having all LED bulbs and the right side all incandescent. Except for the top hazard lights, which appear to be equally bright, the LED bulbs are noticeably brighter. And the LED bulbs use 9.8 watts total compared to 72 watts of the incandescent bulbs. So they are brighter and consume 7.3 times less power. And in case you're curious, here's what it looks like with all LED bulbs. In case you've been wondering whether I'm going to change the headlights from incandescent to LED bulbs, the answer is no. The main reason for that is I don't use the headlights. Because I have a front end loader, uh, the headlights are virtually useless because if I have to pull it up off the ground, it blocks most of the view. So I find them to be useless anyway, so it's not worth my time, at least right now. Besides, I have this wonderful light bar up here that lights up half the county when I turn it on. And that's more than enough light for me. Well, I hope you found this video helpful in deciding whether you want to change your bulbs to LEDs or not. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you click that like button, leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.